In today's short video, we're going to discuss a Python library that I'll be using to run various analyses relating to my dissertation research, which is going to be on spatial optimization, specifically routing, as well as inventory management. So we begin by going to Google and then searching OR tools. OR stands for operations research. So we'll go ahead and click on OR tools. OR tools is an open source software suite for optimization, tuned for tackling the world's toughest problems in vehicle routing, flows, integer and linear programming, and constraint programming. As you can see on the top left, we have installation, guides, reference, examples, support. I'm primarily going to be focused on the Python library, but I think it's important to click on the guides and kind of go through a couple different common optimization problems, some of which I'll be using for my dissertation research. As I mentioned, OR Tools is an open source software for combinatorial optimization, which seeks to find the best solution to a problem out of a very large set of possible solutions. Here are some examples of problems that OR tool solves. Vehicle routing, find optimal routes for vehicle fleets that pick up and deliver packages given constraints. Scheduling, find the optimal schedule for a complex set of tasks, some of which need to be performed before others on a fixed set of machines or other resources. Thirdly, bin packing. Pack as many objects of various sizes as possible into a fixed number of bins with maximum capacities. On the left here, we have different problems that you can solve in areas that you can use a library for. Let's go through about four or five of them, beginning with assignment. Just go to the overview on the left. One of the most well-known combinatorial optimization problems is the assignment problem. Here's an example. Suppose a group of workers needs to perform a set of tasks, and for each worker in tasks, there is a cost for assigning the worker to the task. The problem is to assign each worker to at most one task with no two workers performing the same task while minimizing the total cost. You can visualize this problem by the graph below in which there are four workers and four tasks. The edges represent all possible ways to assign workers to tasks. The labels on the edges are the costs of assigning workers to tasks. As you can see, you can find more information as far as the overview of the assignment problem. And then you can get into actually solving the problem itself, laying out an example and then it gives the Python code as well as other types of coding languages that you can use. Now let's go into packing. The goal of packing problems is to find the best way to pack a set of item, items of given sizes into containers with fixed capacities. A typical application is loading boxes onto delivery trucks efficiently. Often it's not possible to pack all the items due to the capacity constraints. In that case, the problem is to find a subset of the items with maximum total size that will fit in the containers. There are many types of packing problems. Two of the most important are knapsack problems and bin packing. The knapsack problem is one of the areas that I will be focusing my dissertation research on. Thirdly, we have routing. Within routing, we have a, a number of different problems, including the traveling salesman, vehicle routing problem, vehicle routing problem with time window constraints, pickup and deliveries, and capacity constraints. Let's just go to the quick overview. The goal with vehicle routing is to find the best routes for a fleet of vehicles visiting a set of locations. Usually best means routes with the least total distance or cost. Here are a few examples of routing problems. A package delivery 
company wants to assign routes for drivers to make deliveries. A cable TV company wants to assign routes for technicians to make residential service calls. A ride sharing company wants to assign routes for drivers to pick up and drop off passengers. The most famous routing problem is a traveling salesman problem. Finding the shortest route for a salesperson needs to visit customers at different locations and return to the starting point. As you scroll down, we can get in to other types of vehicle routing problems. As I, I mentioned those earlier, and you can click on that to get more information. Lastly, let's go to the scheduling overview. Companies that manage extensive operations, which require assigning people and resources to tasks at specific times need to solve, solve difficult scheduling problems on a regular basis. Here are a couple examples of such problems. Schedule employees in multiple shifts subject to a complex set of constraints and staffing requirements. Schedule a manufacturing process that involves performing many tasks on a limited set of machines, each of which can only do one task at a time. That brings us to the end of the video. As I mentioned, I just kind of want to give you an overview of the Google OR tools. As you can see, it's a very powerful library. And on more simple problems, you don't have to have a solver as a plugin at the end with your solution. There's a library called PULP Pulp or PYOMO within Python where they each need a solver. I'm going to gravitate towards using the Google Operations Research Tools more so because you won't need a solver. And again, I'm going to be focusing on routing and inventory management optimization problems specifically related to food supply chain and cold chain logistics. Thank you very much for watching the video and hopefully this was informative.